This video will go over how easy it is to use Feedback Wiz software. When you log into your account, you'll be navigated into the dashboard page where you can quickly see the data for your orders, feedback, sales, product reviews, quick stats such as best selling, frequent buyers, and most reviewed products. You can also see your campaign history right here. And to change the view of the graphs, you can click these icons up here. To your preference, you can also customize the dates from up here and see the data change right here. If you go into your orders tab right here, it will take you into the order manager page, which is fully integrated. And we have a lot of search metrics provided, such as these. You can also customize by the date. And the filters are pertaining towards promotions, feedback, refunds, all the order statuses, buyer information, and how many items were purchased. You can also search by ASIN or SKU. We use this data to help you accurately target and send emails to maximize conversion. You can also add notes by clicking this icon to help you stay more organized with that order. All of the order data will be available right here and say for this customer you wanted to manually email them, you would just click this icon right here and from this drop down you would click send email. But if you no longer wish to email them for this order, you would just mark do not solicit for order and that will not send any emails for this order and you can also remove it by clicking this button. But if you mark do not solicit for buyer, that will blacklist this customer, meaning no emails in the future will be sent to this customer unless you remove the DNS by clicking this. You can also see the emails queued right here, which emails are gonna go out. And then this blue envelope icon right here, if you click on it, you'll be able to see which emails were sent to the customer and if it was opened it would display right here. If you go into the feedback tab right here, you can quickly see all of the seller feedback that you have available. You have your search metrics right here. You can also customize the dates. And there are filters available to only see one and two stars. You would just click that check mark. And then to see which emails were sent, you can just click this icon right here as well. You can also add notes to stay more organized with the feedback. Say if you've already emailed them and whatever communication was had, you can add a note for yourself. You can also click this icon right here, which will allow you to contact the customer. And then this icon will allow you to contact Amazon support. So you'll be directed into the Amazon support page. If you go underneath campaigns to your template manager page, this is where your email templates could be found. This is if you want to create one from scratch, but I'll just load a pre-built template just to show you guys how it will look like. Right here would be the template name, the subject line, style, email type, this will help you stay more organized by having these options available. You can also attach logos or email attachments right here and then labels will help you stay more organized as well if you have different types of templates. All of your formatting will be done on this page and you'll be able to see over here how it will look like in the live email preview. This is what your customer will see in their inbox on this page. You can also click this right here to change what product is displayed just so you can see how it will look like with various products. You can, after you have this saved, send yourself a test email to see how it will look like in your customer's inbox as well. Make sure you watch the video on how to insert GIFs, clickable buttons, and emojis to help increase conversion inside your templates. Once your template is created, go ahead and go back on up here to Campaigns to Campaign Manager. This is your Campaign Manager page. I'm just going to click on Create New Email Campaign. 
The campaign name is internal, so it is just for your reference. And then for email template, this is where you would select which template you wish this campaign to have. And then for target order, these are all of the statuses that you can target, such as feedback, delivered, repeat buyers. You can also exclude orders from this option right here, such as negative feedback, returns, refunds, all of these ones are available as well. And then this is the schedule for when you would wish this campaign to go out. And you can also select how many days after you want to target the orders. So five days after. Order matching rules right here is where you would add in the ASINs that you want this campaign to target, but for now I'll just put all products. And our campaigns are set to only target new orders coming in from the time that the campaign is active, unless you choose this past days option, which could be located right here. So you can select, I'll just select past three days right here, and then you would just click create campaign. Once the campaign is created, you'll be back into the campaign manager page. And then, so these icons right here, this one is to edit your campaign. You would just click this icon. This is to duplicate it, meaning to make an exact copy and you can make modifications inside that exact copy. This is to trash the campaign. This is to see how the campaign will look like. The preview and then note this is just a preview it may show product information that is different from any SKU ASIN that you are actually targeting so as long as in those order matching rules you've selected which ASIN to target this will be displayed correctly inside of your customers inbox and then right here is gonna be your quick stats to provide the data for this campaign It will be easily available. And then if you wanted to A-B test your subject line, you would just click this icon and then you can click yes and you're able to split test the campaign up to five times. The purpose of this is to see which subject line has the highest open rates and that way you can cater towards those subject lines towards the future. Up here, if you go into products, make sure you go into product review manager. And right here, for all of your product reviews, they will be easily displayed on this page and you're able to search by these metrics provided. You can also select the date range and the filters. If you only wanted to see your four and five star reviews, you would just easily click that and all of the four and five star reviews will be displayed. This is displayed in the most recent reviews up here, but if you wanted to group it by product, you would just click on this icon right here. And once you've clicked on that, you'll be able to see this product and all of the reviews just for this product. So it's more easy to read all the product reviews just pertaining towards this product. We also provide this action button right here. If you click on this, you can add an internal note for yourself to stay more organized. You can also contact Amazon support directly by clicking this link. And if you click on view Amazon review, it will direct you to the actual product review that was left on Amazon. So you can go ahead and respond to the customer inside of that link. Also underneath products, if you go underneath product manager, this will display a list of your inventory right here that you're monitoring. And right here is the set listing alerts for hijacker, buy box, or title list changes. If you click on this, you're able to enable hijacker alerts to receive the, this email notification whenever the number of offers change on this listing. You can also change this to have just increase in offers or decrease in offers. This buy box notification will allow you to be notified when you no longer have the buy box on that listing. And then for item title notification, this is to alert you when the title changes for this item. And then you can turn these on once they're dark gray, that means they are turned on. And then 
You can also click this to do a bulk edit to make sure that you have all of them turned on. That way it will be a lot more easier to turn them all on versus doing it one at a time. You also have the option for product custom short title right here. This makes it a lot easier in your email campaigns to have a shorter title because if you use the variable for product title, it will gather all of this information right here. And instead of displaying all of this inside that campaign, you can just have a product custom short title right here and just update the short title. So when you use the variable product custom short title inside of your email campaign, it will pick up this title right here versus this full title. This is your reports manager page, which exports all of your data from FeedbackWiz into a CSV file. You have these options for your reports, such as orders, buyers, feedback, and reviews. Once you have it clicked right there, you would just generate the report and download it into your computer. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and for more information, please visit feedbackwiz.com.